Metal Gear Solid, Big Boss's story in five minutes. Sort of. Everything you need to know about the story of the original Snake. Spoiler alert. In 1964, during the height of the Cold War, the legendary U.S. soldier known only as the Boss defects to the Soviet Union with two American-made nuclear missiles, while her protege John, codenamed Naked Snake and a member of the Elite Fox Unit, attempts to rescue a weapons researcher named Sokolov. Snake tries to stop the Boss, but she brutally lays the smackdown on him and tosses him off a bridge. Snake survives, but one of the missiles is used by renegade Soviet Colonel Yevgeny Volgin to destroy a Russian weapons research facility. While recovering back in the United States, Snake is told by his CO Major Zero that Russia blames the US for the attack, and that the only way to avoid all-out war, not to mention being labeled as the boss's accomplice, is to return to the USSR, stop Volgan's insurrection, and kill the boss. Reluctantly, Snake accepts the mission and returns to Russia to kick off Operation Snake Eater. During the course of his mission, Snake runs into a couple of characters who will be way more important later on. A woman named Eva and a young Spetsnaz commander called Ocelot. He also learns that Volgan is in possession of the Philosopher's Legacy, a massive fund created by the United States, China, and the USSR's wealthiest and most influential citizens at the end of World War II, worth almost $100 billion. That's $1.2 trillion in today's economy. Despite being captured, tortured, and even losing an eye, Snake escapes and returns to defeat Volgan and his prototype nuclear tank, the Shagahad, and ultimately overcomes his emotional attachment to the boss and kills her in single combat. Meanwhile, Snake's original CIA contact, Adam, is revealed to be Ocelot, but because he can't just have one secret identity, he's also a triple agent for the Philosophers. He retrieves the legacy after Volgan's defeat and sends half of it to the CIA, ostensibly keeping the rest for a higher purpose. Back in the US, Eva tells Snake not only that she's actually a Chinese operative, because Metal Gear, and that she was seeking to recover the legacy for the People's Republic, she also tells him that the boss was never really a traitor. Her true mission was to infiltrate Volgan's group and recover the legacy for the United States. But once Volgan detonated the nuclear device on Russian soil, the boss knew she would need to sacrifice herself to prove her country's innocence, even knowing that she would be despised throughout history as a traitor. Bogus. For his valor and heroism during Operation Snake Eater, Snake is awarded the title of Big Boss. Though, after learning the truth about the boss's mission, he elects to retire from the military and disavow his new title. Over the next few years, Major Zero, along with Ocelot and several other Fox members, founds the Patriots. Their goal being to replace the Philosophers and guide the world to a future that the boss would have wanted. Having a Superman crush on Snake, Ocelot demands that Zero ask him to join them. He does, and also recruits Eva, though it becomes apparent that Big Boss does not share the same vision of the boss's future that Zero does. These tensions eventually come to a head when Snake learns that Zero has harvested his DNA in order to clone him as part of a project to create the perfect super soldier. By 1974, Snake had bailed on the Patriots and formed his own army for hire, the Militaires Sans Frontières, or Soldiers Without Borders. Snake and his new sub-commander, Kaz Miller, are approached by a young girl named Paz and her tutor, Ramon Galvez, who quickly outs himself as a KGB agent named Zadornov attempting to rouse a rogue CIA division from Costa Rica. God, can nobody just have one name here? Snake almost refuses, but Zadornov plays him a tape recorded the previous year on which the boss's voice can clearly be heard. Intrigued, Snake accepts, and Zadornov grants him an abandoned offshore oil rig to use as his unit's mother base. Once inside Costa Rica, Snake learns that the voice on the tape is actually that of an artificial intelligence based on the consciousness of the boss, created by a woman named Strangelove to be used in a prototype Metal Gear nuclear tank known as the Peace Walker. Snake rescues the Peace Walker's designer, Dr. Huey Emmerich, who offers to construct a Metal Gear for the MSF back on Mother Base, effectively turning Snake's outfit into a nuclear power. Because adding nuclear weapons to an already shady military organization is always a good idea. Meanwhile, the terribly named CIA Station Chief Hot Coldman reveals his plan to use the Peace Walker as the ultimate nuclear deterrent, of course by launching a strike himself. Snake aborts the launch, but in order to prevent the U.S. retaliatory strike, the boss AI assumes control of the Peace Walker and sinks itself into a nearby lake. Snake finally realizes that the boss's sacrifice meant she had abandoned her life as a soldier, effectively putting down her gun, which is something Snake would never allow himself to do. Readopting the mantle of Big Boss, he begins preparations for a military nation known as Outer Heaven. Meanwhile, Huey's completed Metal Gear Zeke is taken hostage by Paz, who reveals that she works for Cypher, a pseudonym for Major Zero's Patriots. She offers Snake a return to Zero's unit, but he refuses and destroys Zeke. Paz is cast into the sea by the resulting explosion, only to be captured soon after by an unknown American agency led by the mysterious and super weird-looking Skullface. Meanwhile, Chico, a young rebel rescued by Snake in Costa Rica, had fallen for Paz aboard Mother Base, and while attempting to mount a rescue, he found himself captured. 
At the same time, the United Nations announces that it will be examining the MSF mother base for nuclear weapons, because at least one organization is still sort of responsible in this universe. Knowing that both Chico and Paz have information that could prove catastrophic to their operation, Big Boss and Kaz mount a rescue on the eve of the UN inspection. While the mission is a success, Boss returns to Mother Base to find it all but destroyed at the hands of Skullface's XOF unit. Paz is killed attempting to save Snake and Kaz from a hidden bomb, but the explosion destroys their helicopter, grievously wounding everyone on board. Nine years later, Big Boss awakens in a hospital, battered and bandaged. His army is scattered, his base is in shambles, and the legendary warrior is hungry for vengeance, no matter the cost.